<laughs> Thank you. I enjoy that. How would George Kittle describe George Kittle? How would George Kittle describe George Kittle? Yep. <laughs> um, goofy with a little bit of chaos. I think it's the best way to describe me. But I like to have a good time. Play fake, Beth wide open. Man, wide open, touchdown, Iowa. George Kittle, his second straight week with a touchdown catch, and Iowa draws first blood here. Third slotted left. Dumping it up, down the middle, and the seam route to George Kittle. Touchdown for the tight end, 35 yards. Better good protection in the end zone. Touchdown! George Kittle in for six. Better throws to the fullback. Touchdown, Nebraska. Uh, excuse me, Iowa. That was George Kittle. I'm sorry, the tight end who got it. Two touchdowns for the good one. No, I think he's had a pretty fair senior day. Beathard all day, open receiver, it's caught, and it's a touchdown. George Kittle, the backup tight end. Three tight ends now, on first and goal. Off the play action, and he's going to throw it. And it's caught wide open with George Kittle for the touchdown. Pick's going to come flying off here. For the uh, 146th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers uh, pick good friend of C.J. Bethford, George Kittle, tight end from Iowa. George Kittle is, I guarantee it, what Kyle Shanahan sees here is absolutely Owen Daniels for sure. And George Kittle, George Kittle is a good tight end. Um, I... You know, he is an inline blocker, too. He will get after you in the running game. You have to if you play at Iowa. And I thought George Kittle, for me, carries a grade up there near Jake Butts as well. I think ultimately he can become an early competitor and uh, an early player for San Francisco. Wide open is Kittle between the numbers 40, 50, 45, 40. He might go all the way. Touchdown 49ers. Touchdown 49ers. 83 yards. Were you even aware of tight end records like receptions, yards? I mean, I think you probably know a lot of the names that have played the position. But were you aware of any records? 
No, uh, I mean, I don't really set too many individual goals. Most of my stuff is team. But it really wasn't until about uh, like week 12 or something that my Titans coach said, hey, you have a shot at the record, so you better keep playing well and we're going to go for it. And I was like, all right, sounds good. Yeah, sure. How many yards do I need? <laughs> right. I didn't think yeah. going into the year that my goal is to break Gronk's record. Yeah. I remember at the end of one game this year when you almost set a single game record <laughs> for yards. Mullins drops deep to throw. Far side caught Kittle 35. Turns up 30. Stone cold Kittle. Mullins with the right hash mark. Pulls the ball down. Now fires to the middle. Caught Kittle running. 45. Near side 50. Kittle 40. Kittle running through tackles. Yeah! What a stop. Oh! Kittle is dragged out from behind. Here's what I love about that. Nick Mullins had to double hitch it. He did not get his first read. He clutched it, looked out to his right. Finds Kittle and then some real nifty moves by George Kittle, stiff arming people. Kittle, Mullins pulls the ball back, throws the ball wide open. Kittle near side. First goal. He is gone. Stone cold. Kittle, 85 yards. Go. It opened up just perfect for oh. George Kittle has 179 yards of receiving in 20 minutes of football today. 51 is yelling, help me. Yes, that was fun. George Kittle is the perfect tight end. Longest catch of Kittle's career. Hey, Kittle's so good, dude. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Call that play every time. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was crazy. Kyle, your head coach, Kyle Shanahan, he knew that you were just like five yards short of the record. Yeah. And it bothered him that he didn't get it for you. Good job, dude. I am so sick. I didn't get you five more yards, man. Five. You're the five. man. Five. Oh. He's in the slot right there. And they're looking for him. And he's going to break the all-time record. Kittle inside the 30, the 20. What an unbelievable year for George Kittle. Has just shattered the single-season record for receiving yards by a tight end. How about that? That is good stuff right there on an otherwise tough season. For these San Francisco 49ers, congratulations, young man. I, I appreciate that he felt that way because, you know, he definitely, that last drive, he's like, hey, uh, you got this play and this play to make it happen, uh, so it's on you now. And I was like, hey, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Pretty cool that it would come on a play where you're able to make a run after the catch like you had something Yeah, it uh, hasn't really hit me yet, but it's definitely uh, exciting. And, um, I mean, it definitely wasn't just me. I mean. You had three quarterbacks throwing me the ball. You had, you know, our O line, our you know, just ups and downs throughout the year, guys in and out. But you know, it's just a credit to our team, just to keep pushing, grinding the whole year, no matter what happened. Um, you know, definitely would have really, you know, enjoyed a win today. But this definitely uh, you know, makes it a little bit better. I just don't know who had a better year than 49ers tight end George Kittle. Talk about it. He broke out as a tight end, had an opportunity when things were looking real, real gloomy for that team. He took advantage of the opportunity. He got engaged. Yeah. He was at the Super Bowl with sponsorships. Like, what a year for him. Peter, what stood out the most? It's funny because I, he wasn't really on my radar last year when he was a rookie. And this year, kind of had some games, but they were such a bad team that it was like, you're not watching them. And then Thursday night, they come on NFL Network. They're playing the Raiders. They're crosstown rivals. And everyone's attention is to them because it's a Thursday night game, the only show in town. And Nick Mullins is under center for the first time in his career. Cool little story. And George Kittle steals the show with his one-handed grab. And then after the catch, goes the distance. Kittle, no. wide receiver skills, can play the tight end. He's fighting, he's fighting. Gets down to the five-yard line. But this catch was something special. Really put me on my radar that George Kittle is going to be a game breaker and a special player in this league. Thursday night, national television. will go on to win that game. One of the greatest rookie debuts ever for a quarterback mm. had by Nick Mullins and no shortage of talent Damn on that field. And George Kittle, Peter, the guy who stole the show. And we went into week 17, Gronk holding the single season receiving yards record for his position at tight end. And we all talked about it leading into the last week. 
Travis Kelsey's probably going to break it. It's probably going to happen. And sure, he did break it, but so did George Kittle. Mm. And it was on his last catch of the entire season. He was robbed of a record earlier in the year. There was two minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this one. What was it? Mullins to Kittle. Of course, that's the way it goes. And he would go 43 yards and this touchdown against the Rams, finishing with 1,377 right. receiving yards. And he is now, in fact, the record holder for single season receiving yards that. at his position. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so we nice. do highlights on the show. I feel like every week we were doing a highlight, not just of him scoring, like this runaway romp yeah. down yeah. the field. Like, it was nuts. Yeah, Kel- was Kelsey was like, Kittle. yes, oh. Yeah. And now it's Kittle. Yeah, Kittle, oh, it's, it's incredible. Crazy, I mean, it's definitely an honor. Just, um, I'll just be voted that. And um, one award that is definitely one of the top awards for the team, just, you know, because who it is and who it's after, uh, it means a lot. I'm hearing more and more stories about how your team set you up for the record. I guess Kyle said that Exum blitzed on his own. Yeah. He was so determined. To- no, he said, he told me, he's like, yeah, because I, I, he was supposed to, like, cover the post, and he walked down next to Elijah, and he was like, hey, Elijah's like, what are you doing on here? He's like, uh, uh, I'm just going to be a baller. I was like, okay. And then he blitzed. What it was uncalled, too, so that, I'm, it worked, I guess. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, it wasn't. It's not an individual word. Like the whole year. I mean, I mean, offense has to help. Defense has to help. Special teams have to help. It's just all year long. Everyone working together. Uh, I mean, definitely. I think my favorite part is just seeing the sideline erupt. I mean, it's a pretty special moment. Two overall dating back to his years in New England. Garoppolo on second down, complete. It's George Kittle getting the start today for the injured Jimmy Ward. And they both come up with some big plays for San Francisco. Kittle makes the catch, able to avoid the first. Offensive coordinator for the Niners in the early 90s. You go back and look at a lot of that stuff, and they come back the other way to Kittle. He breaks one tackle, steps on it, a couple of more around, and they to the 45 yard line. Second and four, and look at this, George Kittle, the tight end, coming around with the carry, and he is. Second and nine, four-man rush, scoring, Kittle. Third and five, pressure on the left side, quick wait to Kittle, Mets spins free and does it again. After the timeout by the 49ers. Here is Garoppolo throwing it wide open downfield is George Kittle. Kittle with a straight arm, still on his feet, and Kittle winds up right around the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Garoppolo, quick toss, and it's going to be deflected from the 38. Garoppolo hit, gets rid of the defender, and the pass is going to be caught by Kittle. And a flag is down. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass is caught, Kittle breaks one tackle, another, wow, what a touchdown for George Kittle from the 25, play action, Kittle, the catch, the run, the tackle,
first. Take this, will you? Now here's what I want you to do. Take this and go around.